Welcome to the Miniatures Paintbrush. Today we're going to talk about finding a paint scheme for your army. Welcome back. It's Rob from the Miniatures Paintbrush and I'm here to talk to you about finding a theme for your army. This is one example of how I would find colors for a specific army or something that's reoccurring like these spirit hosts uh, appear on other models within the Death Army, which I'm trying to amass and paint. And I want them to have consistency. So the first thing I did was to look at some colors that I thought I might like. I have uh, the greens in the back here, which I'm going to uh, test out on another model to see how it looks. Now. While I'm selecting paints for the scheme that I thought would look nice, what I did was is take a sketchbook and actually paint the colors sort of kind of next to each other so I get a feel of how they would look. Here are some uh, blue tones over here. And I took another model and I painted it the blue tones, uh, which we'll see right now. So after looking at that blue, I'm starting to think that these blues here are so icy, it seems like uh, they would fit well in an ice cavern if I was doing some terrain or something like that. Not really for the application, uh, those spirit hosts. So my next shot here is going to be with these greens, which you see back here. Now you see the simple green right here is something I want to talk to you about. When you're painting the same miniature, or if you get a miniature from eBay that's painted with acrylic paints and you wanted to remove that, uh, what I do is I take some of this simple green and I put it into a, um, this is a vitamin bottle, which I dubbed the paint removal tank. And I kind of swish it around. I left it there all night uh, last night. So I'm kind of just switching it around and trying to get all the paint off of it. You may need a toothbrush. Please do not use the same toothbrush um, to brush your teeth afterwards. Dedicate one just for this. Um, then see, there's some there's some machines out there which I don't have that like have bubbles in it and kind of like bubble some of the paint off. Again, uh, using that simple green to do it. Uh, for now though, I just shake it up as much as possible and I'm going to try to remove this paint, which should come off no problem. And I will come back with uh, the miniature painted with the green hues so I can compare those icy blues with those green spooky colors here. Alright, let's see it. So here we are. Now I'm kind of liking this one better than the blue one. It seems more ghost-like, in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna go with these colors and see. But after going through all my colors, these seem the one that are most appealing to me. Well, I hope this helps in you deciding what you want to paint your army or how, what pattern you'd like to paint your army in and select in colors. But it's, it's all about exploration and having some fun. Well, like if you like this video, subscribe, share with a friend. And have a great day. Happy miniature painting. So painting is a process, or rather an adventure. If you liked the video, please well, press that thumbs up. Share it with others. Subscribe for our latest videos in the series. Thank you for joining in from the Miniature's Paintbrush. This is Rob. See you soon.